What is a predictive analysis? Now, what is very important to understand is that a predictive analysis for all practical purposes is as simple or as complicated as an inferential analysis, right? So what do I mean by that? Let's say I take a sample data. What do I first do? I create a small subset of that called as a training data. That's a data that I use for building an inferential model, right? So it could be that I'm trying to say, you know, what causes default in loans, right? So it could be uh, I, I see if the person is self-employed or if the person has a salaried job. So my X could be, is a person self-employed or salaried? And my Y could be, that is, is he a defaulter? Right. So I, look, I take a small set of data, and from that I try to establish a relationship. Could be linear regression, logistic regression, doesn't matter what model you do, you just build a machine learning algorithm between Y and X. Now, the objective in this exercise is then to determine what these coefficients are, right? What is the relationship between Y and X? What I want you to appreciate is that at this stage, it is nothing but an inferential model. All that you have done is to build an inferential model based on some data that you've had. How does this become a predictive model? So you either take a test data, which could come from the sample, or some from unknown data or future periods, and you apply the same model. Right? You, are, you have determined an alpha and beta. You apply the same alpha and beta to determine what the y is likely to be. Right? And that is predictive model. Right? And I always try to explain this because people somehow have, are, are very excited or very, uh, very nervous when you talk about predictive models. Right? But they are very comfortable when you talk about inferential model. And the point is that you really ought not to be. Both are exactly the same. You built an inferential model. Let's say I built an inferential model here, and let's say I'm doing a, a logic regression. I say the odds of the default is 0 0.05 plus uh, 0 0.1 times or uh, 0 0.01 times is self-employed. So let's say this is the model, right? So this model is what I get from an inferential model. All that I do in a predictive model is basically plug this into a new data, which could either come from the original sample or an un unseen sample, and then I convert and make my predictions. Right? The only difference between a predictive model and an inferential model is how I determine the accuracy of the model. Right? So I, let's say I do a linear regression, y equal to alpha plus beta x. How do I determine if the inferential model is good or not? What is my measure? of determining if the model is good or not. I can look at R squared. R squared will tell me if the model is good or not. All right. I take the same model and use it for predicting some data. Right? How do I determine if the model is doing well in the, in the predictive sense? So I, I build a model. right? So let's say I say y equal to 0 0.05 plus 1.25 times x. right? And this is the best model that gives an R squared of 70%. This is on the inferential side. Now I've determined that this is probably the best estimates to get. Now I go and do a prediction. Right? So how do I know? So I now start estimating y's for different x. So I estimate y for different x. How do I know whether my model is accurate or not? What is my measure for determining if my model is doing well or not? This is something that you should go back and check. Right? We have something called as an OSS R squared which is an out of sample R squared. It's just something very similar to R squared, right? It's exactly how you calculate R squared, but you're doing it from an out of sample, right? So you see that the only difference that comes is in how I determine the accuracy of the model. But for that, the model remains exactly the same. So the bottom line, as I said, is that when people look at predictive models, sometimes they get either very excited or they get very nervous vis-a-vis -vis an inferential model, but you've got to be very sure that you are talking about the same set of models. The only difference that comes up is in determining how accurate the model is in terms of the predictive accuracy.